Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am attempting to recreate a look by Kathleen Lights. Yes, the Kathleen Lights. So if you would like to see me attempt to be as wonderful as she is, keep on watching. Before we get too far into this video, please make sure you are subscribed, give this video a thumbs up, and leave me some love in the comments down below. Okay, so when Kathleen did this look, she did it using the Morphe collab with Coca-Cola. I do not have that palette, so I'm just going to try to recreate the look using similar products. So for the main eyeshadow palette today, I'm actually going to be working with the Jaclyn Hill collab with Morphe. This is the Volume 2 palette. This came out a few months ago. It was originally $39 and I did not have it, but it recently went on sale for $20. I don't know if it still is on sale or not. I will let you guys know, but here is the palette, what it looks like, all 35 shades. It's got a lot more pops of colors, pinks and purples than her original palette did. Now, I know there was a little controversy over this palette because the formula changed. It is not a vegan formula with the reds. There is carmine in this palette. So if you want to achieve a look similar to this and you don't have the Coca-Cola palette, you don't want to use the Morphe Jaclyn Hill Volume 2 palette. Um, I think you could create a similar look to this using the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Blood Sugar palette, which is a vegan formula. Okay, so Kathleen did her eyes first, so I'm gonna do my eyes first. And I mean, that is really all the video is gonna be anyway, because as you saw from the title of the description, this is just me recreating Kathleen's eye look. Her video was a get ready with me, so I'm not using all, really any products she used and I am not doing my lips or the rest of my face trying to match her look. I just liked her eye look specifically. All right, I zoomed you in a little bit more here so you can hopefully see my eye better since this is an eye look that I'm trying to recreate. I went ahead and primed my eyelids. I did that using my CoverGirl lid lockup here. I'm pretty sure Kathleen used P. Louise. Now she used eye tapes. I'm just gonna take one of these plastic little covers that comes in the palettes and I'm gonna use that for a guide to make sure that I get that crisp line that she did. If you're interested in seeing Kathleen's video and to see how close I got to her look, I will leave her video down in the description. So I'm just gonna start with the Morphe M433 fluffy little crease brush like this. And I am going to go into certified to prime my lid here or to set the primer I guess it's just like a cream based shadow it's the first time I'm using this palette by the way guys so kind of first impressions also with trying to create recreate this look so I'm just gonna put up this little plastic piece to make sure that it creates a really sharp crisp line over here the way I want I'm gonna repeat that on the other side. If you do this method, I would highly recommend you do it first instead of your foundation because I have tried to do this method afterwards and the little piece of plastic or the tape or whatever will screw up your foundation and then you're going backwards steps. So again, this is all still certified then on the same brush, a little bit more just into the crease, I kind of did that first one all over the lid. I'm gonna go in with Perfectionist, this shade right here. Make sure you tap your brush, there is seeming to be quite a bit of fallout. And once you've kind of lined this up the first time, you can kind of see where it was before, where that line is that your plastic or tape was. Of course, if you're using tape, you don't have to do this every time, but that's just what I'm doing. So this is going actually in the crease. But again, this little plastic piece is making sure we keep a sharp line on the outside. And I'm just diffusing this almost all the way up to the brow bone. Next, it seemed like she deepened it up just a little bit. So I'm gonna go in with thick skin here on the end. It is a brown, but it almost seems like it has a little teeny bit of a reddish hue to it, which I think will really go with this look. 
Now I'm just blending some of that down to my lower lash line as well. Because I want it to be lighter there, but I don't want it to be like too stark cream or white. So this color I'm working in the crease and then kind of going down with anything that's left on my brush. So you can see it's still lighter at my base there than it is the top, but it's also not like stark white. So now I'm finally gonna change brushes here. And I am going to use my Morphe collab with Jeffree Star brushes. This is a JS7, it's just like a little, I put up the plastic piece like that's gonna help you see it. A little angled liner brush. She said she went into a shade with kind of a bluish glitter, a red shade. So this is more of a pinky glitter, I think, but I'm gonna try living my best right here to try to start tracing out a little bit of a line right by my lash. And I'm changing my mind. I'm not going in with that Jeffree Star brush yet. I'm gonna use a Morphe M508 for this because I just remembered she used more of a shadow brush first and then went back and deepened it and detailed it with the other brush. So we're just gonna put this along this plastic here and this is gonna just like roughly start making the line. It's supposed to be kind of like a rough messy look intentionally so when i take that away you can see there's kind of a sharp line here i am going to go in with that sharper liner jeffree star brush just to really make that crisp still in the same shade living my best life okay then i'm using the brush i used to initially lay down this reddish color and i'm just blending out the edges to make it like a really smoked out wing here I'm gonna go ahead and do that on the other side. first is so that if we want to make it sharper we can with concealer when we add foundation. So now going in with the JS7 brush I am going to go in with a little bit of a deeper red this time which is what Kathleen did and I think I'm going to do crazy down here which is a darker red it almost leans a little purple but I'm doing that on purpose because of the next part of this video, which you guys will see in a minute. So I'm putting up my plastic again and just at the very, very base of my lash line, I'm adding crazy. You see the difference now between that one that has crazy mixed into it and this one that is just one color without crazy mixed into it. I'll close my eyes here so you can see a little bit better. It just really gives that whole wing and close to your lash line a little bit more dimension. I would definitely recommend an angled brush when you do this. It makes it so much easier to get in there. I also like this plastic versus the tape because I feel like it protects my face from more fallout because this red shade would be rough on my face to get all of that pigment off I feel. Okay and we will clean that up a little bit with some concealer but that is the start of the eye look here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do most of the rest of my face except for my lashes because uh, there's a little more of her look I want to do with the eyes with that an attempted new technique for me 
but I will be right back for that. Okay, so here is everything but the finishing touches in the eye, so let's finish that now. So Kathleen said she did a brighter inner corner and it had like a greenish bluish reflect. Don't think I have anything quite like that, but I do have something that's bright with kind of a pinkish purplish reflect, so I know it's not exact, but I'm gonna go ahead and use that. And I think I'm gonna need a little bit of setting spray, it's looking like to get that to show up a little bit more with this shade I'm in it in this Jaclyn Hill Volume 2 palette. I'm doing this in a Morphe M152, by the way. It is definitely more of a pink duo chrome shade than I expected. Hers was a little more white, like I said, with some blue and green reflect, but I mean, it is what it is. It's a little pop of something in, the, in our corner either way. This is just attempting to recreate, remember? So the other thing Kathleen did is she actually took a makeup wipe to get rid of the red that transferred under her lower lash line. I just went ahead and left it. I know it's not quite exactly the same, but I did it. She also used red mascara, okay, red mascara. Now, I have some colored mascaras in my collection. Red was not one of them, but I do have purple. So I'm more interested in trying her technique. So she put a white lash primer on first to kind of like cancel out or block out like the darkness of her lashes, thinking that would make the color pop more on her mascara for her colored mascara. So I'm interested to see if that's going to work or not. So I'm going to put on the CoverGirl Lash Blast Amplify Primer. And this is in neutral white. I did receive this complimentary from Influencer. So I want to make sure I disclose that free product to y'all. And I'm just going to do a real generous coating. You know what? I'm going to curl my lashes first and then do a coating of white. You just can't skip a good curl, you know what I mean? Especially because I want these to stand up really well because I'm hoping that the purple is going to contrast the red and then you'll see the red liner kind of peeking through the purple i don't know if it's gonna work or not but that's the uh that's the dream and the goal here i don't typically use lash primer a lot because i don't think it does a whole lot for enhancing my mascaras that i wear over it however i understand her concept and her thought life of like trying to white out the darkness of your lashes so it doesn't show with a colored mascara this primer is not my favorite you guys because it's really it's kind of like clumping my lashes together a bit and i really prefer more lash products that are separating versus clumpy and this formula is just like chunk city i'm pretty sure this is the only eyelash primer that i even own so we're working with what we have all right, so I have generously coated my lashes white. I think you can kind of see the white a little on camera here. And I'm going in with the Rimmel London Extra Pop Lash. This is a lash building mascara and it is in the shade Pop Purple. Now it's gonna take me a minute to really work through this because now I'm having a hard time covering the white. Much like Kathleen discovered too, because we don't use colored mascaras that much. My purple one is a little dried out as well, so I'm not sure if that has anything to do with what's going on or not. I don't know you guys, can you tell that my lashes are purple? Maybe really close up? Does that lash look purple to you? I really don't know if I would be able to distinguish it from a regular color of mascara. I'm just being totally honest. I don't see it that much. All right guys, well this is the completed look. How do you think I did compared to Kathleen's look? I'm gonna try to insert a little picture of her and then back to me to see what you guys think. Let me know down in the comments below how you think I did on recreating this look. If you like it, has anybody else ever tried that method with colored mascara? It's a first time for me. I don't know if I would do it every day, but it's nice to mix it up and try new things sometimes. Well, again, guys, that's all I have today. Thanks for watching. If you're not already, please make sure you're subscribed before you go, and I'll see you on the next one.